45 VMs are running a on a Hyper-V platform at a remote office, Robo. The administrator has been tasked with setting up a backup copy to the main office to centralize all off-site backups. The available bandwidth is one gigabit per second, RPO is set to eight hours, and the data generated for the interval is 500 gigabytes. Okay. There are no WAN accelerators configured. Which of the following will achieve the RPO? So the, the thing is now we have to be able to calculate somehow how much data can we copy in eight hours. But okay, let's 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 take a look at the options here. Use backup copy jobs with copy mode set to immediate copy. Schedule to run every 12 hours. Let's see if we had an RPO of eight hours, which means we're willing to lose up to eight hours of data. So if I'm copying every 12 hours, that's not going to work, right? I, I would constantly be behind. Configure back a copy job to use transport mode over WAN accelerator set interval to every eight hours. Okay, so the question is, do we need WAN accelerators or not? Um, configure back a copy job to use direct transport path set interval to every eight hours. Okay, so probably one of these two. Configure back a copy jobs to use continuous mode to speed up transport. Well, continuous mode is definitely not speeding up anything at all. Um, Schedules run every eight hours. Ooh, okay. Mm. So this is this 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 is not a thing, right? Um, so we are here to use either transport mode of a van or direct transport path. Well, eight hours seems to match up here. So the question is, can we move five hundred gigabits? Uh, gigabytes, sorry in eight hours with this one gigabit per second link. Sometimes it can be good to have some sites that can help you with this. Wolfram Alpha is a easy to use site here. So let's say here, uh, let's see, we said 500 gigabytes over a one gigabit per second link enter and we can see that that would take one hour six minutes so um, seems like that's plenty of plenty of bandwidth to do that so there's no reason to use the WAN accelerators here it might even make it take longer time right it doesn't say we have to conserve bandwidth in, in, in any way plus notice it also says they're not configured we could of course configure them but if there's no reason to do it right it's always better to go with the keep it simple principle here so if, if if we can do it without them why use them i would say plenty of bandwidth to do it so let's set it to the direct transport path and set the interval to every eight hours which will match up with the eight hours we have up here. 